Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Death Road to Canada, shall we? I've been looking at this game for a while, it went on Steam sale, and I've been having a lot of fun on the channel with zombie games, you know, Project Zomboid, Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, Seven Days to Die, and I thought, this one looks good, let's give it a shot. So, never played before, first time firing it up, let's start. Up, down, left, right, to move. Okay, A to open or use. Okay. Um, I am using a controller, by the way, gamepad to play. Alright, let's open this. Um, okay, I got it. A to pick up weapons, B to swap weapons, okay. So I can get this wrench and B to drop. I got a bat, but I also got a wrench. All right, and there's a rebar over here as well. So I got wrench, bat, rebar. I got a lot of weapons. Um, and I got like a medical kit in there. Okay. All right. And let's go over here. Uh, a to pick up chairs, X to throw a chair, and B to drop a chair. All right. Oh, yep, I threw a chair. This is hilarious. Okay. And let's go over here. And X to attack, try to pace yourself. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me switch my weapon. Oh. I didn't pace myself. Watch out for huge swarms. Running often beats fighting. The aesthetic of this game is ridiculous. It kind of feels like Streets of Rogue a little bit in, you know, the way that it plays, but, um, it's zombies. And it's not quite that ridiculous. Oh my. Okay. We made it. Uh, there's a start for team info or swap or info, you can swap leaders. All right, so um, loot in the car, nothing. Team, um, I've got Elliot and Dulcie. Elliot looks like he's the leader and I can change people's combat to smashing or shooting and their tactic to defend, running or fighting. Nice. Um, swap, meet, oh, I see, I can move weapons. So you can have three weapons. So let me give um, Dulcie uh, I'm trying to give her this weapon. No, I don't want to lock it. Um, no, I, I, I don't think I can. Um, I, I don't understand how to use this. Um, status. Elliot hates canned food. Okay. So this is like, oh, I switched people. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, here we go. No, I'm still her. Uh, here we go. Okay. Interesting. All right. Okay, learning the controls, learning the basics. Ladder leads to the outside. Good luck out there. All right, let's go. The way out of the tutorial. You found the ladder out of here. This will end the story for Elliot, but your story is about to begin. You will make your way to Canada, looting all the supplies you can on the way. You'll need to build up your skills and your team to survive. Let's end that tutorial. Let's go. Start. Choose game option. New game. Choose game slot this one um and leader okay ezra athlete irritating kare gun collector mysterious past um raylene's a gun collector and um candace is a big bruiser and she's calm under fire that seems good my buddy um yeah i should have a buddy dominic is 
mega buff and irritating. Um, hey, look, martial artist and charming. That seems good. All right. Um, let's go. I don't know. Death Road to Canada. Candace hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to brave the death road and travel north. Rifles have high damage and high piercing. One shot could splat an entire line of zombies. Um, okay. I could read more hints, like some car types are easier to repair than others, requiring a smaller mechanical skill. Hit the road. All right, so I'm driving to start the journey. The group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll also need to find ways to train and grow your team. All right, where do we want to go? A factory, a hotel, or a house? I want to go to a house. So, I don't know anything about this game, except what I've played in the tutorial, but it seems like... You know, they're taking the standard zombie survival method um, of game like you would get in Cataclysm or Project Zomboid or whatever, but putting it into a brawler type of game. So let's see how this goes. Let's go to a house. The group spots a house on the road. It looks fairly quiet from the outside, but lurking or looking through the windows reveals shapes lurching around in the dark. Your zombie forecast is the swarm is sparse. The aggression is calm, and it's late morning. Let's go in. All right. Okay, this is fun. All right, so equip. Um, I got a flashlight. Is that all we have? We don't have any weapons or anything? Um, wield, carry, carry. Okay, we've got nothing. I guess we'll just kind of um, wield a flashlight for now. I don't know. And then uh, roll. Roll. Uh, lead the mission through the scavenging site, controlled by player. That's me. Um, and Candace is bad at shooting, has good morale, great composure. And she can't stop talking about bacon. Okay, what about Juan? Um, yeah, why don't you... Um, you can also wield a flashlight, just to have it. All right. And I guess we go... Oh my god. There's zombies all over the place. We gotta run. We don't have anything. Here, let's go try to get something. Alright, I got some food. I can hit people with the flashlight, I guess, if I really need to. Um, music is great, by the way. Alright, let's kind of look around. I love how they're, like, sparse. It's pretty sparse. This isn't sparse. This is terrible. I got a chair. Can I throw it? Yep, I threw the chair. Oh boy. Oh, this aggravated the zombies though. So maybe I should have left them to be calm. But my buddy's a martial artist, so he can just... Oh, I can hit people with this piece of wood that I found. That's pretty sweet. Alright, let's club people. Oh my god. Take that. Now, I don't know if this is like Project Zomboid style, where it's one bite and you're dead. But hopefully not. Death Road, baby. Come on, Candace. Get him. All right. Um, pick it up. There's another one down here. We got another problem. Oh, do they keep coming in? Uh-oh. Got it. By the way, I also don't know if I'm getting, like, experience or anything by fighting. Or how this works. Let's go. Let's keep exploring. What you got? Zombies. Ooh, there's a shotgun or something. Uh, my wood... The piece of wood that I had broke. I got some shells, and I got a shotgun. All right, well, that seems nice. I shot that guy, as you can tell. Oh, I got it. There we go. Man, the shotgun is really great. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, we got a hamburger or something. Okay. All right, let's keep rolling. Bathroom, giant bathroom. All right, I need to switch weapons. Save my bullets. My weapon broke. Dude, are you gonna fight? There you go. You gotta come in here and help me. It can't just be me all the time. There you go. There you go, buddy. All right, what do we got? Toilet, sink. Okay, bathtub. You can't really search these. 
just a big disappointment. <laughs> this music is hysterical. It's like 16-bit style. Okay. Boxing. Um, I'm not good at boxing. I can hit people with my flashlight, though. I don't know if it breaks. Hopefully not. Let's bail. Do you want to leave this location? Let's go. So we found two food from 8 to 10, pistol ammo to 26, and shotgun ammo to 3. And we killed 23 zombies. That's great. Everybody's pretty happy. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Um, Candace's morale decreases. Juan didn't mind it much. Or Schwan. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food. Minus four. Okay. So Candace didn't like it. Uh, that's, that's a shame. You know what? I just took a moment to uh, make myself not quite as bad at pronouncing uh, that name. And so it's Shuan, I believe, is... And I'm bad at pronouncing some of the um, Chinese sounds. Shuan, I guess, is how to say that. So there we go. We're losing gas. Shuan says, I can't wait to meet other survivors on the way to Canada. Me too. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies to stock up for the journey. Uh, your zombie forecast is mild, swarm, calm aggression, near moon. Um, let's go to an athletic store, please. And uh, we need to say... Uh, oh, okay, so Schwan took the gun. Um, the pistol. That's actually fine. Let's go. Oh my. Look at the car. Let's boogie. All right, let's go to the sports store. <laughs> this game is really funny. All right, oh my, run. All right, get a shopping cart. Ooh, golf club, that looks awesome. Okay, let's hit people with the golf club. Tennis racket, oh, no, give me the golf club. Um, you know what? I can't carry that much more. I shouldn't have maybe taken the flashlight because you can only have three. That was my mistake. Man, Schwann is just wrecking stuff. I, I still don't know, like, is there any benefit to killing zombies, or should I just be looting stuff and, and you know, moving out? Let's roll. Okay. Take that. Now you get out of here. Oh, there's a golf club. Get him. What's in here? Party time. Wait, we got some bullets. Now that's actually great. Oh. Okay. the bathroom. Oh, they're coming in big time. Alright, we'll get you. Got him. I'm sweating. Or I don't know what that means. Maybe she's tired? Too many attacks? Okay, something in here. Got some bullets. Great. Bathroom. It's funny how in like Project Zomboid or something, I'd be so excited to find a bathroom. Um, and in this, I'm like, well, you know, bathroom. Ah, okay. They finally broke. Oh, I should go back and get that tennis racket. Ah, that looks like a big waste of time in there. Oh, can I search this loop, this junk pile? 
I thought I saw it shimmering for a moment. Nah, just a bunch of junk. Disaster is what this is. Okay. So, I'm going to go back and get the tennis racket. I have to definitely um, increase my understanding of... Like, first of all, am I taking damage? Like, are my people hurt? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, she took a little bit of damage. Her heart is, like, slightly down. Anyway, let's get this. Get it. Let's go. I guess I could switch to the other... to Schwann to see if, uh... we could change up... equipment. Start the car. Car start. Go. Um, okay. Great. Got, got a lot of good stuff. The group finds a strange, repeating message on the radio. It's a series of short bursts of music, beeps, spoken numbers, and the haunting slide whistle noise is fantastic. Who doesn't want to hear that kind of stuff? What could it all mean? Um, decipher the message? The team puts their heads together to figure out the code. The message says something like, drink more oval tums. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, it's just nonsense. What a waste of time. We both got depressed because of it. We're, our morale is going down. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group. Who should stay up on watch? Uh, we're gonna take shifts, so both people are gonna be upset. So our morale is just going down, but then her morale increased a bit. For eating, maybe? I don't know. Are we there yet? The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. They demand all your extra gas, half of your ammo, and your medical supplies. Um, Candace offers to heal injury. Um, she ends up making things worse. The bandits aren't very happy. Um, Candace is hurt, and Schwann is hurt. Uh, that was terrible. We're almost dead. Boy, this is playing out like... It's like Oregon Trail. Except with zombies. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. Um, you could still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. You have two food left. The group runs into a trading camp. Alright, what you got? Ammo Emporium. I can trade five, uh, two food to get bullets, ammo, and shotgun shells per food. Um, no thanks. I don't have enough food. So I need to be like, welcome to the fence of Val Hughes. Oh boy. Um, does anybody have food? What are you doing? The person is asleep. How could they sleep so soundly in the middle of the zombie apocalypse? Right on the ground. She must have it all figured out. If I give her the food, maybe she joins the party or something. Uh, but I just have so little food. Uh, so he'll give you a medical supply for food. No thanks. All right. I have no medical supplies, I don't think. Oh, the bandits took all my bullets as well, it looks like. Oh, no, they didn't. It's just not loaded for... Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I want to just actually, I want to take this off, but I don't know how to do that. Anyway, um, okay, let's keep going. That person looks like they sell sweet weapons. All right, go. 
We're about to die. We got no food. The group stumbles across someone's camp hidden behind an empty town. There's a woman dressed in medieval clothing like she's at a renaissance fair. She's sparring in the air with a fencing foil. She stops slashing her sword eventually, but never puts her rapier down. When she, when talking to her, she seems like a pretty normal person, despite appearances. Recruiter. Alexander points her sword to the sky and belts out, No one can stop my blade. Ho, ho, ho. Um, she joins the team. So she's got strength and fitness. Let's go. I don't have enough food for all this, unfortunately. We're losing gas. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at the cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert, there is no escape. Um, it's going to last for an hour. Try to survive. All right. So let's see here. Uh, oh, we don't have anything better. Um... I'll tell you what. I'm going to take this gun uh, away from Schwan because I haven't seen him shoot it. So I'm going to use it myself um, because I can at least aim it. And then let's roll. How's this going to go? Bad thing. Um... This gun is pretty hilarious, actually. Let's see if there's good stuff in here, and, and if we can fight any better in here. We got medical supplies. Good. And switch it up. Alright, I'm just going to use all my ammo to just try to survive. Let's look through stuff. They're all too slow for me, she says. Indeed. Tennis racket. Tennis racket. I don't know if, like, with the horde, maybe you're supposed to just run around. You know, maybe that's a better idea. A femur. Yeah, use that. They're attacking the fridge, which is funny. The siege is over. You can now try to escape. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um... Let's actually move on. Um, yeah, give me that nail board. And then... I want to go in here, see if there's any more, like, supplies. Medical supplies, great. Alright, that worked out great. Alright. This nail board is slow, but boy, does it hit people. Um, let's go. Alright, we did it. We ain't dead. Night at the cabin, baby. Do you want to walk back to the road? Let's hit the road. Okay, so we found five food, two medical supplies, um, and we got ten pistol ammo, eight rifle ammo, and twenty-two shotgun ammo. Did I get that? I just found that on there? Or that's just what I have total? I don't know. Anyway, um, Schwan says, if you ignore the zombies, it's just like a regular road trip. Um, and we lost medical supplies to heal, maybe? The group, the group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Um, okay. So, we could give max health, morale, and one health healed, morale, and a random skill gain, um, or shooting. Uh, let's heal up and get morale. Time heals all wounds, especially zombie bites. Uh, we got morale up for everybody. And Zombo Point Earned. Use ZP to unlock traits, perks, and more on the title screen. Okay. We're about to run out of gas. Things are good now, but we should prepare for anything. At the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around the outside, and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Um, yes. Uh, Alexander. She barricades it. And they kept the zombies out. So we found out that she's bad at mechanical, but it went up. And we ate six food, which is a lot. But we learned that Alexander has good wits. Great. We have one food left, which is a disaster. 
Uh, the car has completely run out of gas. It coasts to a stop. Car abandoned. Okay, so now we're just walking. Uh, the group spots an old boot on the road. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size, but hey, it's free. Um, this is surely a symbol of good luck. It is. Get the boot. Um, what happened? Without a car, the group is a sitting duck for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They're likely new at this. They demand all your extra gas, half your ammo, and your medical supplies. Um, we're gonna fight. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential. Oh, you don't get to actually fight, you just- everybody gets hurt. Ah, uh, I don't know. The group walks to a junkyard, with a car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Um, the zombies are upset. Let's see if we can do it. Explore the junkyard. What's this item? Oh, it's the boot. Um, hey, look at that. Alexander picked up a bunch of items. Um, Candace, what do you have? Okay, you're good. Here, go ahead and take this boot, Schwan. All right. And let's do it. Okay. All right, give me a, give me a nail board. Let's just see what's going on here. Uh, here, turn around. What's in that dumpster? Nine pistol bullets? Heck yeah. Alright, let's go shoot him. You might ask, why are you using all your pistol bullets? I'm gonna tell you why. We're about to run out of food, and we have no gas. So, I'm doing everything I can to just clear the area. Alright. Make our, our life a little bit easier, if possible. The car looks like it's in really good condition, but where are the keys? Alright, let's go find the keys. Yeah, it does look like it's in really good condition. Ahem, not really. Got 20 gas. Alright, things are moving up. Nine rifle bullets. Boy, I need a rifle. Alright, let's go in here. Gas. Heck yeah. We got some computers. Let's use these babies. Alright, um... Uh, I got gas in the toilet? Okay. Um, let's keep looking for the keys. <laughs> Not over there. I wonder if one of the zombies has it. This zombie has a huge head. Why? Okay. Don't know. Just has a huge head. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to like see our health. Okay. On the on this screen. Seven bullets, baby. Take that. This nail board is really good. It has a uh, quite impressive range. I hope I don't know if there's friendly fire. I, I'm thinking there's there can't be, but I don't know. I'm sweating. Maybe I, I'm swinging too much. Got some food. That's actually huge. <laughs> you can block them. Snap. All right. I thought there was some rebar back here. I can get this, but this is pretty terrible as a weapon. Let's keep going. I gotta figure out where the keys might be. Oh, that pipe looks great. No, no, give me my shotgun back, but... Um... Yeah. Mm, there is a dumpster up there. Here's the keys. We found it. It's a set of keys. Sweet. Get this. 
What is that? Bullets? Okay, well. Bullets are good. Some cement blocks that we can throw at things. Okay. I'm going down. I'm going for it. Here we go. The keys fit perfectly. Let's get in the car. Go. Get out of here. Yes, we're back on the road. So we got one food. We got a bunch of gas. And we got rifle ammo. And, you know, that's where we're at. Well, everyone, I really enjoy the game so far. I enjoy this look at it. I had no idea what to expect, and it's hysterical. Um, the controls feel pretty good. I've got a lot to learn, but I'd love to know what everyone thinks of this game. Have you played it? Do you enjoy it? Is this a game um, that, you know, you want to see more of? Talk to me in the comments below about your thoughts on the game. You know, any tips or tricks you have that are kind of like non-spoilery for a new player. Um, and I'd love to hear what you think. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.